Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today we're looking at Final Masks 97 Bright Spark Villa. This is the only mod that I've come across from this mod author so far. I hope there'll be more. We're just outside of Riverwood. There you'll see where my pointer is, is the entrance to Riverwood. And here is the home. Oh my word, right in front of the tomb entrance. Now this sits almost exactly where Bradane Church uh, sits. So if you've got that one, you won't be able to have the two together without patching it. There's my cat Felix on the bridge. Look how pretty is that? I mean, it's a beautiful A-frame home. Loads of ivy on the outside looking gorge. Okay, let's get down and have a closer look. Okay, so as you enter, we've got this lovely bridge of our own to just sit and stare at the swans. Now that mod is Ducks and Swans of Skyrim. Looking, oh, that view down the river though. <laughs> looking down there makes my heart glad, it really does. So beautiful here. What a lovely, peaceful green spot. The outside of the house is spectacular. It kind of reminds me of, it's almost like a gingerbread house, isn't it? It feels quite festive, I think, with the stained glass windows. Love. <laughs> and the shutters. I don't know what it is. It just feels magical. And I'm all about that. Okay, so there's no room for kids or followers, just so as you know, straight off the bat. But what a gorgeous home. We have our own mailbox, which looks like a cuckoo clock. I just love all of these, this whole texture, the whole thing, just, you know, I want to eat it, it's beautiful. Got a side door here, in fact there are three external doors on the ground floor. Look at how nice this is, hanging plates on like silver chains, I don't think I've ever seen that anywhere else. And then, just so you know, there are spots everywhere, inside and outside the house for all your special items. Wow, have you ever seen that before? I don't know if I have. I love it. So nice. Carrying on round, here's your smithing equipment and your smelter. All outdoors on a gorgeous day like today. And everything else under this gorgeous gazebo. And named storage as well as generic so cool and i like that there are little candles dotted about so if you want to come out and work at night this mod author's got you covered oh wow look at that <laughs> i'm a massive fan of ivy and plants and stuff you know just stuff i am a maximalist through and through and this is gorgeous little was this a little bird table thing down here and there are also lights all around the homestead and you've got these planters down here. So there are only five, but better than nothing, eh? Oh. <laughs> this house, look at the thatching. Can't get over it. And the chimney and your other entrance. This is super cute. Imagine just sitting in this chair. I love the lock. I love the door, the colour of the wood. All of it, and I know that there are going to be some purists saying, oh, it doesn't look like vanilla. I think that's the point, isn't it? You know, we don't all want vanilla. I don't. You can keep it. All right, so let's get in and have a look. It really is quite a modest home. This is pretty much the extent of the floor plan. The inside matches the outside beautifully. And it is super nice. Don't think that's functional. Would have been nice if it was. I love the light coming in the window. Got a little cupboard around here. Every inch has been used. Gorgeous artwork. Wow, that is super nice. Got my cook pot, got my oven. Food ration storage. This is really pretty, isn't it? So nicely done. A shelf for my baked goods. Inigo is already making himself at home. And why not? I mean, there's a table set for four here, but really, there's really only room for you, bed-wise, you and your spouse, you know? <laughs> or me and Inigo, as it, as it goes. So here, look, for example, Castelmo's stone rubbing, Mercer's plans. Do check carefully, because as you go around, you'll find little spots all over the place. Heartstone right there, how lovely. 
Skull Key. Here's your enchanter with a note from the college. Professor Olinor, with the samples you'd given me and following the method you used, I could identify that indeed the magic potion you created has alteration properties affecting the flora, and that is the cause of the overgrown ivy in your house. However, I still need more time to study thoroughly its causes to come up with a potion that reverses the effects. Tolf dear. Cool. That's so cute. And I, I, I'm a big fan of ivy and roots and all of that. I am a druid at heart, there's no doubt. Wow, this place is going to look amazing when you've got all of these secret little things put in there, you know? I'm sorry I haven't got anything on me. And a staff enchanter. Just, you know. Just right there. Oh, I love the light coming in these stained glass windows. They are so nice. More storage here. This is quite the collector's home on the quiet, don't you think? I appreciate it. And not all just the standard things either. Some of the more unusual things, which is very cool. Okay, let's carry on. We've got an upstairs as well. Oops, slight bit of lag there. I've got uh, two mannequins, some weapon racks. Statue of Debella? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've even got one of those. I thought I did have. I don't know what the heck happened to it, but anyway. Going upstairs, we've got weapon plaques up here on the ceiling. Hey, in a go. Here's our bed. Looks comfy, eh? What have we got here? John's drum. Oh, I like that there's somewhere to put all the pretty jewels. Oh, and the amulets. Oh, nice. All right, carrying on round. We've got some more storage tucked in under the eaves. Comfy bed. Oh, I would so bang my head in the morning. <laughs> a cute wardrobe. I love the glass. And there's a fireplace here, and I've got firewood on me, but I don't know what it needs to be able to actually light it. Look at the bellows, though. Heart-shaped bellows. That is adorable. Ancient Traveller's Skull, Golden Claws, wow, and these, they almost look like organ pipes, logs, you know, they are, they are really nice, these logs, beautiful, claws and shrines, and you can harvest these lovely things down here, some of them anyway. How lovely. I like this, don't you? I mean, like I say, the inside fits the outside. And this is a really nice nook. And alternatively, I might have used that to have a, um, you know, like um, medieval toilets, like a garden robe. That would have been cool, wouldn't it? With some kind of um, collection tank underneath. <laughs> that would have been fun. Anyhow, so yeah, no bathroom, no kids. And uh, no followers, but it is what it is, and I love it for what it is. Also, how beautiful on your landscape. Not least of all, the grounds are magnificent. I'm assuming that those willows came with this and not with Bluebow's Riverwood. I don't think I've installed that one before. And um, that is a requirement of this mod, as well as uh, the school's courier service. Oh, bless him. He's there being busy. Okay, well, I love that corner. I think it's stunning. I'm going to leave you with that view. Call that the end of this video. Say thank you, as always, for watching. And take care and stay safe, everybody. I'll see you soon for the next.